No Man's Sky is getting even better and Battlefield 2042 is hoping to start a redemption arc. No Man's Sky developer Hello Games has announced the next update for the game and it's called Outlaws. Launching on April 14th, Outlaws will focus on the game's underworld and also includes a number of significant upgrades throughout No Man's Sky. For the new underworld exploration, you'll be able to visit outlaw space stations and star systems that have been overtaken by criminal elements, which creates an opportunity for you to earn extra credits. A new series of pirate missions will open up black market technology that you can purchase. Valuable goods that are illegal elsewhere in the galaxy can be acquired, and you can even grab a forged passport that will allow you to slip past the Sentinels with your smuggled cargo. All players, not just smugglers, will benefit from the addition of specialist cargo inventories to all starships. You'll even be able to recruit and upgrade your own wingmen now as well, allowing you to collect your ideal set of ships and pilots. Each pilot comes with their own abilities and can be upgraded over time to improve their combat skills. And speaking of combat, space combat has also been overhauled significantly and will now have a decidedly faster feel to its design. Handling has been improved, weapons have new visual effects, and enemy starships now have shields. And you won't be safe on the planet's atmosphere either, as ship-to-ship -ship combat can now occur there too. I secretly aspire to be really good at No Man's Sky, like an expert at No Man's Sky, but all these new releases just keep pulling me away. I guess it's time to re-download it anyway, so I'm ready for the release tomorrow. And in other update news, Sony has released new firmware for the PlayStation 5, and unsurprisingly, it doesn't do much other than provide a standard system performance update. Still no variable refresh rate support just yet. The previous PS5 firmware update was more substantial, as it added several new features and tweaked the user interface. Personally, I'm just still waiting on the ability to hold the PlayStation button and access the power menu. But all right, let's stick with the update talk because the next big patch for Battlefield 2042 is coming next week. The update has 400 plus changes, including bug fixes and quality of life improvements, among other things. For starters, Specialists Rao and Paik will see their traits updated, but DICE's Kevin Johnson didn't say how. Sundance, meanwhile, will see fixes to their grenade belt to allow for better anti-armor grenade target acquisition within their immediate vicinity. Update 4.0 will also change ribbon so that they're easier to unlock across all modes. What's more, XP for support actions and team play will be balanced with the aim of making sure, quote, teamwork remains king. Vehicles are also getting some attention too. The Bolt vehicle, for example, will see targeted tweaks to ensure the balance between infantry and vehicles still has some bite. There are also fixes in store for aiming down sights while jumping out of a vehicle and reviving others near obstacles. The 4.0 update also makes changes to attachments with the aim of, quote, ensuring they feel unique and have an impact on your loadout choice and gunplay. This is only a small preview of what's to come in Battlefield 2042's 4.0 update. The full patch notes are coming early next week ahead of the patch's release. An official release date for the patch hasn't been revealed just yet, however. And before we end, let's take a small moment of silence for The Witcher 3's PS5 and Xbox Series X and S editions, as it was delayed indefinitely today. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.